side. Both actually want to skirmish quite a bit. That's uh, an interesting early to mid game, I think. Yeah. I, I don't know who has the advantage here. Could be a rush. It's like how we rush the draft. So let's see how this goes. Okay, Karina or Carl Tizi on the other hand. Light has a way of trying to delay the purple and just getting information. On the other hand, we have Yaoi and Sanford just to get on the other side of camp, which is the purple as well. Oh, they thought they was they thought Irad was there. Oh, they were messing with Irad's buff. They're gonna protect him. And the battle for the Little Wanderers. It's been a while since we actually saw a skirmish. Oh! That's a flicker combo. Gave by Yaoi. Now light. Still making it through. Nats going to that vengeance. Now Sanford is trying to hold them off. Eard as well. Oh, not going make not gonna go for a kill, but instead just to poke things down a bit. Yeah, so boys, I mean, if you're looking at Eard, oh. the I guess that his signature now is the tank slot or the land slot is the hybrid tank build. Where he goes for Motel Nessence, immediately goes for War Axe before going for the Sky Guardian Helmet. Oh. This time, against the Karina, it is possible that this could be a full tank build tank slot. Like you go for the Sky Guardian Helmet first before the War Axe. Um, so it, what I'm trying to say is that Irad might need to kind of change a bit his itemization when now he's going up against something like a Karina. Who's more, uh, has more power on true damage. An advantage as well for Carl Teasy in getting that objectives and kills. Something else to note before any more action uh, comes up on the map. He is actually using the Brenny Sports Lancelot skin. Oh, wow. <laughs> to the Brenny Sports Lancelot. Yeah, to Carl Teasy, who That's earned right. it back in M2. Yeah. Now Sanford tried to hold him off. Turtle on half HP, Carl TZ is not going to poke this, but now he secures it. Uh -oh. Retribution for Echo, now Yaoi onto the Iron Hook, and oh. on the Bloody Hand, Sanji with a burst. Now Light is going to oh. try to escape here, but a knock up from... And uh, Yaoi and Carl TZ secures that one. Wet and wild engagement right there. Again, if it gets messy and it's a big skirmish, I ask who's ahead. Looks like Echo answers. Yeah. Echo very quick at it as well. Very confident with this Karina. We know for sure that this is a, a hero that can match up against uh, top junglers when it comes to jungling speed. It's got a lot of movement speed as well. Then you build it up in a very tanky way, tanky fashion. All of a sudden, you're very strong in neutral objectives. Good poke there from Exhort. Half HP onto Sanji. Back away, trying to go in for the lanes. I think Echo are going to execute on something that they learned from after they get dropped in the lower bracket by RSG. They're going to start clearing these small camps, so Irad has less to run away with. Yeah. They're going to try to close that window where Irad can get away with a lot of stuff. And wait, there's a bite! Bloody oh. hunt. And an ultimate from Sanji secures another kill. And that'll grow the gap between the Karina and the Lancelot, because the For Karina sure. can get in and out regardless of their camp. She's exactly. just much more agile that way. Yeah, that, that's the real strength of this Franco. That's why I felt that both teams will uh, be very strong with it. Fortunately for RC, they have a guaranteed stun as well, courtesy of the Divine Judgment. It kind of works both ways. But the thing is, Echo will have a lot of supplemental damage and um, crowd control afterwards. Meanwhile, down bottom, Irad under the turret now behind Sanji. enemy lines. On a low HP, Sanji secures another one and Echo for their enforcement and response. 10 seconds until the second. Ooh, Ooh, oh, close call. Really, really close. Emma might have had to pop his Purify because again, between Benny Cutie and Yaoi at this point in the game, could have been lethal. Luckily, Light was there. Here's another turtle. Sanford trying to box out Nats. Meanwhile, Yaoi and Sanji Looking on who's gonna make or step in their border of control, but Carl Teasy, no sweat, secures this objective. Wow. Okay, so what I will, uh, what what we do know about Echo is that they're very good at identifying like the what's what's the term, the chinks in the armor. Yep. Yeah. They they are very good at that. So RSG now showing that there's some there's a lot of like speed problems that we are looking at their lineup. For, of course, they are very strong in the mid-game.
But in the first few minutes of the game, with RC still divided and they're not grouping up, Echo can take advantage of that because of their pick of comp. Oh! oh! Flicker, no bloody hunt, but that's the Divine Judgment pull onto light onto the turret. Now Erad secures the kill. Yaoi falls down. Woo! Now Erad trying to hold in. Synchro Fission trying to catch Sanji, but Yaoi missed that bite. Yep, and he spent this flicker to get in there, and it looks like Echo's looking for more. They're still out mad though. Oh, caught in four rough waves being used to escape a uh, probably burst. Now Benicuti, will he be the aid to the rescue? Irad is just puncturing through. Ah. Sanji still lives. Run, Benny, run! And Benny's going through the the <laughs> river, and now three is on the chase, on pursuit. Carl Tizi and Yao trying to find reinforcement. Sanford is here to the rescue, and Ira is trying to puncture through. Thorn Rose will connect to the damage. No, and still Echo still safe from that ambush. Ooh, the two deaths that are the uh, two kills. I mean, that RG got was only onto Yaoi, and everybody else from Echo is just having a field day. You can see Benny Kitty just dodging so many of the, these engagements, and Echo have a very good job at protecting him. And at the same time, he knows how to protect himself. This is great for Echo. Then Cartesi is feeling it. He knows that he has the jungling advantage just because of jungling speed and, of course, neutral objective impact. Then you have Sanji, 3-0-1 on this Kanita, making his own case for a good play player on this particular hero. Yep, and now Echo continues the snowball, 2k ahead, last hurdle coming up, Carl has already started it, and just like that, it's clean Echo. I think RSG is making the right call though, they shouldn't be picking fights they're not ready yet for. All in objectives, all in for securing those camps that you guys mentioned Leo specifically. Now they're not leaving any space for Ira, just a small bits and pieces of the biscuit. Still no turrets destroyed yet. Look at that. <laughs> Seven minutes. Look at this uh, bush that Echo. I call this the long bush yes, it's because it's one of the longer ones, right? This yeah. one? Yeah. It's long a, bush? Yeah, it's a long bush. And I call this one sandwich the, from the corner. That's a sandwich, yeah, the one, two, and the three. Yeah, yeah. right? So Correct. It's a sandwich. Yeah, perfect. From the long bush, Echo <laughs> just revealed themselves oh. in RSG. Irad he uses almost the thorn rose to check on who's on the bush. Carl Teasy trying to escape some possible pull there from light, but uh -oh. now they could be in trouble. Rough wave, Sanji just unleashed. Splash, burst, island onto RSG. Light falls down. That's a difficult engagement that RSG were playing with. They were moving as a unit, yes but not all of them can move at that speed. So yeah, whoever was exposed, whoever Echo catches first, it's a win regardless. Well, first big landslot, surely you'll trust it, right? Irad was amazing with this. Irad mechanics, right? The mechanic. He, he went for the War Axe uh, priority once again, which means that he, need, he can dish out the damage, but it seems like RC are just going to farm it oh. through. Understandably so, but I think that around 12 minutes, they have to be ready. They cannot be behind by 3,000 gold, 12 minutes. Oh. So they need to make a play, and this is what they're doing. Good senses from Ammon. That's the Iron Hook, and the Bloody Hunt will connect oh. onto two. That's burst once again from the Rough Waves. Now forced out Light falls down. Now Echo picking one player at a time from the Raiders. That's deja vu. Was it not just a minute ago that they did the same thing to Light? Exactly. Oh, they just keep going. Yaoi does not have the Bloody Hunt. But they have more than just that. I believe Benny is slowly building up to a comfortable arsenal. Earlier, he almost got caught off as he ran through mid. Now, I'm guessing he just needs one more core item before the rest of RG need to respect the damage his carry can output. Lord Dance already began. Can Irad respond? Well, the confidence of this kid is just showing up against Carl Teasy. Now Light is here. Oh, but the Iron Hook! Connect to Yaoi, being forced him to retreat back. Now Irad is still eyeing. That's a Lord Reset. Oh. Reset that kind of favors RSG, but they may have to make something out of this. You can already see Light is fishing for a play. Oh! Oh! Oh, Purified. Oh, oh, oh. Purified been used there. Oh. Now that's a call. That's a, that's a Divine Judgment from Light. Now Yaoi is being caught. Irad secures the kill. Now another one oh, bites oh. the dust, but Sanji returns in the kill. And that's the double for Echo. Now it's go time for the Orcas Eman. to strike back. Eman being thrown in oh. by the speedy Light Mills for Benicuti. The storm just been activated right on the cap on RSG. No Lord on to three members down on to two. And Nats, Nats sobbing, Vengeance, onto Vengeance, escaping by uh -oh. the waves. 
Oh, Erod is not letting this go. Will but he let it go? Kick! Secures the kill and make it another one. Yeah, we're still holding through with that body had an iron hook combo. Will Erod be secured from this? Sanford with a flicker. Oh! And he grabs them back. Sanford, night, night. you're not going home. All right, so Echo have learned from Erod's moves. They finally get him down. If this was the other night, boy, oh boy, Erod would have lived. Oh, my. Oh, RSG just really... Oh, how do I say this? It's like they they live and die by the sword, and that sword is called mechanics. Yep. And, and unfortunately, they will suffer this defeat. We we were talking about how they should not be down by a four thousand or three thousand gold at twelve minutes. By now, ten minutes in, they're struggling at this point. And big props to Sanji for landing the two man stun. But man, RS, RSG needs to find a, a clean opening here. They just have about a minute left until that ultimatum, Wolf. They have a minute left to close the gap. Can they do it? Echo! That's the flicker on to one and the Nat. That's the primary target of Echo. Now rough waves Whoa. will be enough for the burst. That's Vengeance plus the final slash. Nat takes down one. That's Yaoi falling down. Now Swing of Fishes. That's two. And Zaman Force. That's two. Now two members down from the Orcus. Now Sanji is looking for an avenue here, but the eyes is on Benny Cutie. Ooh. They're on a push in mid lane. Three members down. No, three members present for Echo uh. in enemy camp. Ooh, Carl, right. Carl and Benny are deep. Wow. They're really deep. Really. And he's still making it through. Speedy Life's connecting like Frisbees of fire. Benny Cutie still holding it. But Carl Teasy saying back away. But Sanji still holding it again. That's in light though. But Yowie's here. Reinforcements from the Orcas have arrived. Will the Raiders strike back? But Irad recalls back to base. Sanji picked up a few tricks from Exort. He's been watching, man. Yeah, that is. was a safe escape. Even if Nats on the Arlot actually caught a vengeance on there, he would have yeah. just got knocked up. I, have, I like the idea, kind of kind of like the idea from RSG. Because what they're doing, at least when it comes to a teamfight perspective, is they want to initiate with light. But they cannot just rely on the initiation coming out from this uh, Kaja. So what they did was to actually snag Yaoi instead. And what it does is it forces Echo to kind of fight them melee range. And that is when Nats will be able to land the Fire and Slash on multiple heroes. Oh. That's oh. Flicker committed. Wow. Man, the instincts just uh, threw him off just a wee bit. Just Okay, so I guess RSG, uh, they know that Echo, whenever Carl TZ does that, there's somebody holding onto the bush. But at, right at that moment, there wasn't anybody. So the two, I think that was uh, RSG overthinking things. Yep, they, 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 they played the game too hard in their heads and they overthought it. That's right. Oh, man. Could have been, though. Again, about a minute until Light gets his flicker back on. Wolf, Francis. Do you think there's a lack of vision on the side of RSG? Do you think that's why it's so hard for Light to actually get these pulls? Yes. He had four deaths, and getting that information early game, he was ganked twice early on by Sanji. That's what he wanted to do normally in a Franco, but yeah. on a Kaja, he's much more squishy. Yeah. And the reason is because they go, went for the Lancelot with um, prioritizing the damage, right? So I think um, the lack of vision is more of them just not... Uh, just, just playing differently from the other teams. Like, for example, they have this Lancelot. If it, this is a tank slot, you can be the one to be the first one in, and then Light goes in with a flicker. Yeah. Mm. Or even Nats. Like, they're actually saving Nats for a counter engagement. Here's a fight! That's a flicker plus the combo. That's a pull onto Light. Two roamers with a showdown. Now, who's going to make the perfect set? Now, Nats trying to go in for the mid lane, for the mid strike, rather. But now, Sanford trying to box out four, five members. Saying not go near Carl Teasy's food. Oh. That's the Lord. Now Thorn Rose trying to poke and Sanji. damage the Lord, but Sanji's here. Oh, just trying to get busy, splashing the waves. Boxing out four and three members of RSG. <laughs> Erad, look at that. It's just Carl T's just standing. Okay, just do it. Oh, That's he, my skin, boy. Thorn Rose in my face. He's showing the posterior. Like, I don't even want to look at the Lord right now. <laughs> Interesting that, interesting that they actually poked Light, even when Light already committed the ultimate. Oh, oh, oh Yaoi. My, oh, my, Erad. Uh, he's just so self-aware. At this point, he's not dragging his map. He knew yep. that it could be a potential, so he was just looking at his own unit. That's just uh, amazing uh, 
Game sense! There's a oh, pull! Oh, the Divine Judgment. Sandra was the first targeted, but that's an exchange. That's a pull. That's a combo. That's the Bloody oh. Hunt. But Carl TC secures the kill. Emman falls down. A vital kill, but now Sanford boxing out three. That's a grab. Grab. Oh. That's the pull. And that's remembers Better Cutie. Throw out Frisbees. Speedy Lightway in. Speedy Lightway out. Now take it down two. That's light. And now Better Cutie, the storm being unleashed. Thorn Rose, two men knock up onto the final slash plus vengeance. But now Better Cutie being taken down by Erad. But Carl T secures the objective, but now Exhort holding still. Two members on to their last two turns, but Carl T's making it a double. Nobody's going on safe. Will this Vengeance Whoa. final just make it through? Amazing knockup. But three, two members on vital health. Can they survive? Nats! He's going! He wants more! Nats is not giving up! Oh, the flicker! Oh, flicker! Oh, flicker! Nats versus Yaoi! He's not letting go! Give it to him! And Nats! A recall in between Nats 3, 0, and 7 in his series versus Blacklist International. He was struggling badly, but this time against Echo, he's woken up. 3, 0, and 7 with the tenacity means that he can be aggressive now with the damage output, with a tank ability that he has with the Radiant Armor, Dominant Size, and Thunder Belt. There's a lot of combinations that he can use. And this means that RSG can now rally behind their x -Pilainer. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Grand Finals MVP from Season 9 when he won that title for RSG. He is reintroducing himself to the MPL Universe! Oh, with a flicker, trying to pull in Carl Tizzi, Sanford onto the back lines. Medicutie throwing light goals again. Nats being the first start, but Carl Tizzi dropping low. Oh. Carl Tizzi dropping low, but Medicutie secures the kill. Ira takes down Carl Tizzi now. Down. On target, on Sanford. Four members of Raiders still present. Knocked up from the rough waves. Will it make the cut? Will it make the cut? The burst. Still not enough. Oh, Better One. trade for Echo, for, for uh, RSG. I mean, they took out Carl Tizzi in exchange for their Valentina. Fortunately, though, for Echo, it, the Lord is not going to be respawning up until a minute from now, but they cannot afford those kind of mistakes. Even when RSG is behind like this, they should be wary of the potential of that retribution from RSG. But unfortunately, Carl was sitting on five kills. Well, so that's quite a bit of bank. That is. That they made bank, for yeah. sure. So they shrank the gold lead, which I actually lost track of, folks. Yeah. But now it's down about 2.5k? Which is where they were sitting at about the 10 minute, 9 minute mark. Well, is this the window that we're talking about now? <laughs> but it's the ultra possible entry for the ultra late game. Yeah, is it better late than never? Is that what RSG is going off of? Because yes, <laughs> that's what I think the Raiders are thinking. <laughs> Since game number one, yeah, from the Atlas. Being all honest to goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, was that Bloodwings picked up by Eman? Eman, yeah. yes. That's he knows right. that he's the target. He needs the protection. Yeah, it's very tanky now. Feather of Heaven to go with the Calamity Reaper. So you have the damage already. CC um, resistance with your passive and of course the Blood Wings. Knows that he needs to tank up. And I think that they might have just weathered the storm. I think this is a... Even when they're behind by 3k, I think this is a, a much doable uh, match for RC. And this is just because of Nats just popping off. Yep, that one moment, that one moment was yeah. all that RSG needed to actually present the threat of a comeback. Yeah. So from going Ooh. off of about a dozen of steps, now maybe just two or three steps, but with this luminous <laughs> lord, God. rather an evolved lord, <laughs> Echo, Echo just yeah, grows it. Yeah, no, we were just talking about like, oh. Wow. And also, no turrets destroyed. From Echo, look Man. at that bottom turret. Yeah, bottom turret, just a little <laughs> just bit. Right? A little. Just held together by glue. Exactly. I, I'm actually surprised that there wasn't any some part of contention and Echo. Big props to them for identifying that certain window. We're in, we have the carry, which is a fast, a very, very quick way to take out the Lord. Now it's on the base. There's a siege. Siege coming in. Echo, what is the plan? What is the pull? Two roamers. Might set up the fight here. Who's it gonna be? Sanford, big in front. Lord will be melted down by RSG. But on the other hand, bottom lane turret has been destroyed. One turret left for RSG's base. What a defense by RSG Slate. No one going down. All the waves clearly managed. I mean, inhibitors do get cracked, but this throws back to yesterday in their upper bracket bout. Remember Kufra on light, that defense almost solo, actually literally solo against 
an inevitable finish. So I oh, think Yowie. I should hold it on. Oh, 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 oh. what? Final slash <laughs> right at the space of Yaoi, just a pixel. Dump sniped. Nats could have sworn Yaoi was going to flicker. Oh, oh. Easy. He's just being in front. Oh, okay, but, oh. Not, but the final oh. slash on to three. Echo's in trouble now, but Metacuti will the damage make it through the defenses of RSG. Now Nats is on to Sand from Iran, takes down Yaoi. Two members being so vulnerable now on the space. Four, five. Trying to chase down Kalti's in Sand from Red. Look at that. Down bottom. Oh, Benny. down bottom. Oh, XR is there. XR is there. Okay, oh, still yeah. holding through. Four members trying to take down two turrets of Echo. Are they ending this? They're trying to end the base early on, but Benicute is still fighting through down bottom. Check it. Okay, two members. Oh. Sanford. Sanford, call TZ going low. Benny, what do you want? I, I call TZ, but no! Somebody's going well at the base! Light. Can light. Not Can like light. This. Wait! No, no, there's no minions. It's back. impossible. Benicute is back and out. Immortality has been popped. Now Benicute, he will he secure the oh, skill? Oh, they will continue. Oh, no! Yowie! That's it, folks! It was too risky, and RSG punished them. The Raiders are on the board, one and one. Big props to Exhort from recalling as soon as possible, knowing that there could be the, those Benikini shenanigans. The thing is, Light followed up. But the real MVP definitely was Nats with that final slash. And I will also credit this to the idea, the raw idea that RSG wanted to approach it. Light 